Hello to all my YouTube fans, how uh, you stay well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today in my bedroom, I would like to kind of show you more about this iHip uh, portable Bluetooth uh, speaker. And by the way, this is a second one of them I bought, and these are basically uh, discontinued model, I think, but the last one I bought was defective, and of course it didn't charge, it didn't work, it didn't turn on or anything like that, and plus it was also broken. This one here is good, this is the second one I bought, and it's also a pretty nice uh, unit. Now, it is a couple of functions I like about this unit. It has a micro SD slot, USB, and also on different uh, things. You can also use your iDevices like iPods, iPhones, and iPads. And you can also use one of these to store music on it if you do not want to drain out the battery uh, in your device like this. But let's go ahead and get a closer shot of the unit, and plus the thing you're going to need is also any type of computer, a Mac, or a PC to put music uh, on this uh, SD card. Alright, let's show you what I mean. Let's look more about how this iHip portable Bluetooth speaker works with different types of devices, like your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad and even Android uh, devices as well and of course if you don't use that you can also use a 4 gigabyte Sengus uh, micro SD card as well to store music on it on this and play the music through this unit and of course see I get very nice Bluetooth portable speaker let's turn it on this side where you can kind of see the different ports your four different uh, inputs uh, micro USB for charging, uh, SD card, uh, USB, auxiliary microphone, and also a display, and also different own function with different buttons. And plus, it has a flashlight on the bottom as well. I thought that was kind of cool. You see? It's pretty neat. Now, let's see how this device works with my iPod touch go into your settings and let's go ahead and put the delete code in so you go to your settings here go to Bluetooth turn Bluetooth on and you can see I have it already uh, somewhat connected ready for connection Of course, it'll flash a couple of times. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes. Let's say Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth connected. And let's just play a song. Doesn't matter. Any song. Hey, that was pretty cool. How do we put music on the Bluetooth portable speaker? Well, of course, you're going to need a micro SD card. But before you attempt to do anything with these uh, memory cards, first of all, you need to format them uh, into FAT32. That's basically how this unit works. Whatever you have on this micro SD card, you might want to back up, but I'm not going to worry too much about what's on this. I am just going to go ahead and delete everything off of this little card. So I can use it is for storage, for music, basically. You need any type of computer, Mac, PC, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you prefer to use. 
course, it takes freaking forever for it to load in Windows 10. I don't know why. Okay, there is the SD card right there, and I will take you off the tripod so you can get a little closer look. Alright, I figured out what the problem was. Make sure your SD card is not locked. Okay, this is the adapter sleeve, and this is just your uh, micro SD card. And let's go ahead and put that into your laptop uh, computer reader. And let's go ahead and see if we can format it this time. By the way, this is Windows 10 I am using. Get your mouse. Alright. Hit format. And once you format it, it's somewhat not going to go back. And make sure it is in FAT32. And if you're curious, it will pop up this sort of uh, warning meshes. If you hit the OK button, it's now going back. And now the code is now formatted. Let's see. Now the code is now emptied. It has nothing on it. Now, how do we get music on the micro SD card? Well, I already copied the music to the SD card, but I'm just going to show you how simple it is easy to do. Okay, go into your music folder. Right here. And I use iTunes. Go to music. You can choose what every single song you want to choose. Okay, I'm going to use that. And here. You would copy from 1 to 14. Just copy all those. And just transfer it into your SD card. Like what I have over here. Now, of course, everything should be in M3 form. Just double check. Make sure everything is uh, what you want it to be. And you can use any type of storage device. Uh, like flash drives, micro USBs, or anything with that. Now, let's test it out and see if it will play music on the device itself. Well, there we go. Let's try it with a different micro SD card this time. You're gonna say, oh, Chris, this is not gonna work. Uh, this is the normal size SD card. Well, no, it's not. See? It's just an adapter. This is 2 gigs. Well, let's go ahead and insert it into the micro SD slot. Make sure you put it in the right way around. Click it in there. Now it's in there. Turn it on. Ready for connection. TF card music. Let's see, works perfectly fine. Nice light show, by the way. And you can also pause it too. Awesome. Alright, that's how you put music on it. Alright, there you go, guys and girls. How to put music on a micro SD card. And make sure it is an M3 and not uh, iTunes uh, ACC format because it may not work uh, on this uh, Bluetooth portable speaker. And by the way, you can use Android, um, iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches. And any device it has Bluetooth or a headphone jack to use the auxiliary as well. Now, what's nice about this unit is a lot better than some of the own Bluetooth speakers I originally have bought. And this has a lot more functionality to it. Now, just make sure you pick up any type of micro SD card. It might work, it may not. It only pretends on what you want to do with this portable Bluetooth speaker. Alright, if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please show. 
peace out. Bye, guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Have fun with any type of Bluetooth speaker. Bye for right now. Boy and boy, Chris.